Hi everyone. In this uh, really short video, we'll be detailing how to submit an amendment slash revision request in Argo 2020. Um, this will be uh, something that you can do if you have signed a, an original grant agreement and you have an active project. So to begin with, you'll find the Argo 2020 login page. This is the developmental or test system, so it's not the same URL or anything, but it'll give us a good idea about we, what we'll expect to see uh, as you go through this process. You'll come and you'll log in, okay? And for most of you, uh, once you've logged in, again, th this is the test system, so the opportunities may or may not be this many or available at all. But one of the things you'll notice is, after you have an active project, if you don't have a reimbursement or a quarterly report or anything like that, there's not going to be anything in the My Tasks area of your home screen. This is just something that appears when you have an immediate thing to do. Uh, but if you have an active project, you may or may not have uh, you know, some kind of immediate uh, core feature like a payment or a quarterly report going. So what you'll do is you'll go to the Applications tab. And for most of you, you can simply leave this to say Active Project. Or even if you didn't, if you just click search, it would show you any application that's ever been associated with your organization in any capacity. Uh, but if you set it to active projects, you can be sure that you're looking at things that, that would be eligible for you to submit uh, an amendment request on. So you'll click the search button. And this, as you can see, this test sponsor has a lot of, of uh, projects that are potentially things they could submit an amendment request on. Uh, but we're going to look at uh, this particular one, and this is a uh, an active project that has not previously submitted an amendment. So very likely this would be similar to the first amendment request that you create. Now the first thing that you're going to do from this forms menu here is you're going to click status changes and you're going to choose amendment revision request in process. Now it's very important to remember that when you click this button, you will not be able to submit a reimbursement during this request process. And that's because the new Argo 2020 system works off of the budget details form in your original application. That, that's the form you filled out requesting certain uh, reimburse or certain uh, uh, um, match and certain um, uh, federal or state share on each line item and then that's the form that our team has used to approve each line item. So if the am amendment request can include adjustments to the budget and because of that everything on the budget has to freeze during this process. Because our reimbursement process works off of this form that requires that that process freezes as well during this form. So that's just something to be aware of. When you status change your project into the amendment revision request and process stage, you will no longer be able to initiate a reimbursement request until this particular amendment revision request has been resolved one way or the other. Okay? So just keep, keep in mind that that is, that is a fact of the system. And if you have any questions about that or if there's any kind of unique situation you have, it'd be a good idea to contact your grant coordinator and just find out, you know, maybe, maybe uh, talk to them about the nature of your request. It could be that they say, yeah, don't even worry about submitting that. That's probably not eligible for an amendment and it would just freeze your reimbursement process. Or they would say, yes, you, you need to go ahead and go through the process for this. And, you know, it might be that the disposition of your reimbursements needs to be, you know, fleshed out more first before you decide to go through this process. Once you've put the, this uh, submission into that status, and you can always click this details button here to see what status it's in, and it is ready for you to actually fill out and complete the amendment revision request form. So if you scroll down your forms menu down here to the amendments area, you're going to see the amendment slash revision request, okay? So you'll simply click on that form, all right? And there are, the forms look the same for every program. What you're eligible to do or what you're eligible to request is an extension of the project agreement, um, an add or an edit to a budget item, or a scope change, 
Um, if, you, if you're not exactly sure about what these items mean, again, this video is in, intended to be technical support, you might want to contact the grant coordinator um, of your uh, grant and, again, discuss what elements that you're thinking need uh, potentially an amendment and they might be able to guide you on uh, which exact uh, choice you would want to make. But in this one, let's just choose a simple extension, right? And we would like an extension for six months to 01, 01, 2025. And again, why is this necessary? Um, We'll just create some kind of sample reason. Again, you're going to want to be really specific here, and you're probably going to want some programmatic guidance on how to write this out. Uh, so you will want to coordinate with your grant coordinator and, and find out what this might look like. But there needs to be something filled out here. There needs to be text in this box and text in this box. Once those three elements are present, you can save the form. And saving the form will produce a little icon at the top of the page that shows that there's a green light. If you've done this, that means the page has gotten everything it needs from a technical perspective. Uh, so it's got all the required information. And once it has this, you can then submit the request. So to submit the request, you'll simply highlight the status change area here, and you'll choose Amendment Revision Request Submitted. And you'll click Apply Status. And once that status has been applied, again, you can always click the details button here to make sure that you did it correctly. You did, it's, it's been submitted. You'll receive an email similar to this one here. Sorry. It will say the amendment revision request for city of Ovilla has been submitted, will be reviewed by our staff. You'll receive notification, whether it's approved or denied, please do not apply to this email. Um, so, this is the email uh, that, that will confirm for you that you've been submitted. That's, that's probably the largest part of the process. During the review of your request, uh, you may be contacted by your grant coordinator or your grant manager, and the rest of what you can expect is a series of emails letting you know that it, the request is advancing through the workflow. And once you have uh, a grant agreement ready to, to sign, if it is an amendment, you will have to sign uh, an amendment to your grant agreement. Uh, you will receive a notification and uh, you'll be able to log into the system and sign the grant, the new grant agreement similar to the, the way you signed your original grant agreement. And if it is uh, denied, you'll also receive an email about that. If it's simply a revision, you won't have to sign anything. Uh, and, and that is, completely determined by your, your grant coordinator and grant manager in the particular program that you have a grant for. So that's, that's it. That's how you submit an amendment or revision request. And um, at, the, at the point where you've done that, you then will need to wait for the notifications to determine what the next course of action for you is uh, relative to the amendment request submission. Uh, so. Um, Again, if you have any questions about any of the content in this video, you can email us at rec.grants at tpwd.texas.gov, or you can give us a call at 512-389-8224, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, thanks for watching this short video, and um, again, contact us if you have any questions.